Hello and welcome to the Get Candid with Kia podcast. And we are back on this great Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm glad you guys have decided to join us tonight. We are going to have a great time tonight. I'm mm-hmm. chilling with my homegirl. I got my bestie up in here with me tonight. Her name is Cece. Anytime y'all want a good laugh, y'all can always find her on Facebook. We have a good time. Do not find me. Yes. Stalk her page. (laughs) Stalk her. Stalking is not allowed. Yes, but we are here tonight, me and Cicely. We're going to have a good time. I haven't told her the topic because I wanted to be a surprise, but tonight the topic on this fine Thursday is lights, camera, action. In lieu of the black china, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Current events, (laughs) all right. We're gonna get these current events in (laughs) tonight. We are talking about Miss China and this sex tape and what it takes to make a great sex tape. Hmm. Because as everyone has said, oh, you know, she did a bad job, but you know, I kind of been, I've been on, see, I see. Uh, everybody's talking about how bad this is. Y'all, even, I, my, t- even my sound man talking about how bad China's job was. 14 seconds. How many seconds? I think it was a good 22. I don't care. Even in 22 seconds, she was like a bad-ass popsicle. You know when your popsicle get down to the bottom? Like, I ain't finna go. But this is my thing. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, y'all. I'm going to roll with her. I'm rolling with China on this. Because... We mm-hmm. don't know how long they had been having sex that night. She could have been tired. That tired? Yes. And she could have been tired. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe she was famished. <laughs> she Famish. wasn't feeling Clearly it. she wasn't famished. And she <laughs> was like panting <laughs> on a ping. <laughs> well, we don't know that? how long. Mm-mm. I think maybe he caught her off guard. Really? Yes. Really. Mm. I don't think He's she so just nice. did a bad job. You're so nice. I really don't think she did such You're a bad so nice. job. You're so nice. <laughs> oh, I love you. You're so nice. So no. I think I think that maybe she was. What? I think she was caught off guard. You what you so? think? What I you think? think? That's bull. <laughs> You think it's Shit. bullshit? Real live bullshit. She been a hoe for how long? <laughs> Baby. You gotta be on at all times if you've been a hoe in latex that long. Well, that girl been wearing latex since latex was latex. And you mean to tell me for 22 seconds, that's the best she got? Well, I think maybe she, I, I keep saying she was caught off guard. The and reason why I'm sweaty. saying she was caught off guard, because... She went sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can put in work. Well, she you know, like okay. she put in no work. So, I'm going to say this, and this is just me trying to be devil's advocate and give her the benefit of doubt. Mm. I think that maybe he caught her off guard. She mm. wasn't ready. She wasn't prepared. Mm. They could have been having sex, like, mm. all night. And mm-hmm. then she just kind of, mm. like, was like, hey, I done did all these. <laughs> now, so I, guess, like. so, I guess for the listeners um, and also, you know, for us here tonight, so... Every time it comes down to oral sex or even like sex period, everyone performs their highest because the everybody point. have said stuff like, "Well, you she know, didn't go in on it." Yeah, but I'm she like, treated that me bad. right?" So everybody don't. What happened? I mean, I'm just feel like um, I don't. I'm and you know, I and this is me being personal. Mm. I don't. I, I don't, I'm not gonna say I go hard all the time. What's your percentage? Mm, 70, 75, 25. About how, how, <laughs> it depends on how long you've known the pen. Right. So if but, you've been, you been knowing for years, you're going to get a good 30%. He going to cut us down. Okay, <laughs> okay, so picking up from what I was saying, I think 30%? It's, it's times where you're tired if you have been doing this all night, having sex. I think and sometime you're going to slow down. You're going to be like, hey, I'm tired. Okay, but if you're tired, once you see that cell phone pick up, it's time to it's, get real. Damn it, action. You see the action? You don't know who's going to see that shit. This is going to follow you. Okay, so the next question, well, not question I have, but this is the point. I feel like. Was it, what if he just caught her off guard with pulling the phone out real quick? The way quick? she looked up, 
she was she licking was. that damn. She knew that phone was there. <clears throat> okay, so a couple of things I want to address. How and what do you do to make a great sex tape? Number one, you don't do the Mimi with the shower. Ain't nobody doing that shit in real life. Who the hell is hanging from a shower curtain Who's that's going to be able to stabilize yourself enough? Okay. That bitch upper body is... Let's address now, that. Now, okay, you want to talk about Mimi. <gasps> that upper body. <laughs> she could have took notes from her. But I think Mimi... But they was all ready for that. That was some real lights camera action because she signed up for that. She assigned to do that. Now, with China, China thing was a home video from what we supposed to think. But I think, I really think the jokes is all on this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain myself with that. Now, with Mimi, hmm. her, and what was the dude? Nobody remembers. And nobody remembers. Hmm. Everybody just remembered the shower hmm. stuff. Just that pole, girl. Right. So when Mimi she signed, they signed up to do that. So True. it was like she had a whole, she probably had a whole camera crew feeling that. They was fucking amazed when she hung off that shirt. They was like, "Damn, Mimi!" Okay, yeah. Bro. Everybody was trying that for at least a year because you know they were doing videos mm-hmm. on it on Instagram. I hope, I hope people out there remember that. I mean, if not, then y'all can go to Pornhub and I'm sure you can pull it up. <laughs> That's pull up Mimi for research. In the shower scene. Right. That's Mimi. for research purposes. Uh, I can't put that on Facebook, but um, I'm sure if you Google her, You'll that will it. come up. You will see it. There's good, which is Mimi. Um, there's horrible, <laughs> horrible, which is Black Channel. Like, how you do that? Okay, so this is what I'm Maybe saying about why I think China. Right, that's why I think the joke is on this. I think with China, I think with her, she. I think she good. may or may not have been prepared, but see, I think she got the blueprint. So this is where it gets real with me. Why I think she got the blueprint. And this Give is something it. I talked before. And this is just us. Now, she is a Kardashian by name. By name. As of now. So, Kim, who remembers Kim's sex tape? Everybody. Okay. But that gonna... was vanilla sex. That was bad sex. It was. Now, Kim, if you remember, and y'all go back to Pornhub, Kim was in wet. She got had gave bad mm. head. And when all that stuff came out, it was, these mm. were recordings of me and Ray J. In a personal, private in a, moment. Right. And she, what happened? From that point on, blew it was, up. she blew up. Your ass even blew up. Well, we know, because that's the doctor. That's the doctor. That's some good work. But it's Black doctor, China, she already got ass. But that's a lot of work, too. True. You know, because keep in mind, she is from the East Coast, and she moved to Miami when she met with Tyga, and it's been blowing up ever since. But keep in mind, she has a blueprint. Mm. And right now, you know, everybody is waiting on her to mm. do address what? It. Address it. And she hasn't addressed it yet, but her lawyer is doing all the talking. That's the same thing Kim that did. Kim did. But she ain't going to get that many. But you don't know, though. Now, did keep in mind, who did Kim get No, you think Black China going to get some money for that? You think she ain't going to get no Hell money? no. She going to get chocolate. some money. Let me tell you what she going to do. First of all, people that... Cause you know, as of right now, we don't know if she put it out or not. We really don't know who put it out. She you know, did. and it came out what maybe five or six years later with Kim and Ray J. And Kim and Ray J. was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. <laughs> we signed a contract, and that's and it what was it and that's how it was put out the way it was. Now the same thing with China. Hmm. So I'm not saying it's gonna take five or six years, but eventually it's gonna continue to go on to say, okay, somebody gotta. Somebody got to speak up for this and say what really happened. And they, some people were saying it was like one of her friends, the guy so who was. So she just sent her friends tapes of that shit? Right. They was like some, was guy, some people got on her laptop or her phone or something. It's like, so that's what I'm saying. It's always, you know, it's always a, a thing blah, with blah, that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like crazy. So I'm saying that to say this here. I think it's, I think in a way the jokes may be on this. Yeah. And you know, like she's gonna say, well, that was personal, that was private. It really wasn't. Clearly, to you should have kept that shit private if you wanted to advocate. <laughs> so, do sex. you think it would have been? Well, see, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tutorial. You failed. She failed bad. Epic. 
epic film. <laughs> but I feel so bad for because right don't. now the internet is I feel bad for that baby. Because let me tell you, when Rob, <laughs> even in his gastric that bypassness, petty. said, don't put them lips. He is so oh, petty, baby. though. She's used them same lips. On him. On you. The right. difference is now you're no longer getting the... <laughs> right. The and cream. listen, this is another thing why I say it's, I think it's a setup. Because, you know, just horrible. last week, Kylie had her baby. Mm. Wanted to detract. I just, Kylie just had her baby. Was that about her baby daddy? Her other boyfriend, ex boyfriend? That guy is. Who? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. What's his name? But you know him. I don't know his name. Maybe I need to. I, I just okay. don't know. He's but Kylie smart. had her baby. Mm. And everybody was talking about Kylie. Mm-hmm. Everybody was talking about these pictures of her. Mm. And then, boom, here come China. With their 14 Who minutes has of horrible talked thing. about Kylie's baby? Tell Nobody. Me. <laughs> Nobody but you. You the only one thinking about the children. What about the children? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all right. So, we, we do know that it was bad. She could have done better. That's we nice understand. Word. But I do feel that that wasn't her best work. It wasn't her best work. Oh. Now, will hmm. she do another? Hell no. <laughs> Let me tell you now before you get Glory Allred up there to represent you. Don't pay her another damn dime oh. for somebody to tell you. Hell no. Okay. Well, don't you, you know dare. she's getting them wigs made right now. When she get them court Ooh, wigs made, it's going it's down. It's gonna be serious. <laughs> so Baby. somebody is gonna be in trouble. Put them red bottoms on <laughs> and spandex go and, and jeggings. Well, she completely changed. She, <sighs> you know, she started putting her her suits and stuff on when it's time to go to court. So I think some people may be going to court. I think eventually along the line, you see, she's gonna get some. Yeah, so I'm gonna say like, uh, it wasn't him, or was it was him? I think was, he, did he say it was him. I think he was saying that the one say that was saying it, that it was him. So if he released it, you know, men can be harsh when hey, it comes hey. after the fact. Men can be, you know, sometimes men can Real be worse extra than us. feminine. Mm-hmm. Got his feelings. Correct. Mm. So feelings. <laughs> I think we're giving her a hard time about this sex tape. I really do believe that. But China, I'm gonna pray for you though, and you know, I'm your girl. So I'm gonna know. cover her in that prayer and say, <laughs> "Don't you dare!" As long as you got juices that flow from your vagina in your life, allow another man in your room with a camera and you that tired. And she said you was tired. I don't think you was tired. I think that's all you got because you weren't sweating. Your hair wasn't messed up. Your weave was good. Okay, when you tired, you look a little displaced. Well, see, that's why I was thinking it could be a setup because she could have been like, "Well, let me get my stuff together." And then after she got herself together, she did that. That could have been seconds. action. Well, I'm oh, talking about hell. before. Like, she could have got herself together, Mm-mm. and then after she got herself together, that's when he could have been like, okay, well, let me put this in your face. And that's mm-hmm. why, you know, I feel like that could have been part of her coming back from an intermission. Mm-mm. You don't think There's so? no breaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no breaks in boredom. So, for a successful sex tape, I did some research, and I'm going <laughs> to pull this out Bullet for you Bullet point all. number one. Right. So, you know, I'm all about my research and making sure I get these together mm-hmm. for y'all. So, you want to make sure that ladies... If you're not going to set up a tripod, you and your lover, whoever you with, and gents, if you're not going to set up a tripod and just record each other where it will look like an uh, official porn type thing, Mm. if you're going to do these self movies, (coughs) make sure that the lighting is well. Please. So you want to dim the lights. Right. It's pitch spooky. black dark. It's like Resident <laughs> Evil. You be like, I don't want to watch this and shit. And then all they do is moan. You be yeah. like, is it a... <sighs> is like, that, what the fuck is Is he being chased by the <laughs> boogeyman? Like, the ghost of Dingling Pants? <laughs> dingling Pants. You stupid. Oh, we got to get on. That's another topic. Okay, we'll, we'll get on it. Okay, go. So, after we do the lights, make sure the lighting is well. Make sure you look real good. Before you get started... Doing your recording, make sure that you check your hair, Please. your makeup, make mm. sure everything looks good so know. you don't look so distraught. Look distraught. Well, we want to make sure just, we're doing, these are tips just in case it ever gets out. Whew. So at least you can say, I look good doing this. Mm. Okay, so check your lighting, make sure your hair, your makeup is well, make mm. sure the lighting is well. Make sure you are in a room where it's dimly lit that we can still see you. Please. So it won't look as if you're just in 
pitch black, dark, Which making all these teeth showing. right weird noises. And as dark as I am, y'all, Man, it'll I'm look real. Dark, huh? Right. This, Don't do this that. We need like a moon glow. Be, right. <laughs> we need a lot of stuff going on. Put a moon glow. So make sure the lights are, are well. Mm. Um, make sure that you are aware and you all have planned this. This is step number oh, two. Make sure that you have form. planned, like, okay, we're going to count this off. One, two, three. This right. is action. That's bad form. So that goes back into lights, camera, action. <laughs> Touche. Right. So make sure that you are like ready. Make sure that you all have your plan together. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're going to decide who's going to hold that camera. Please. And make sure it doesn't make us dizzy. Because at one point it was like Oof. the camera was all over the place. And I was he like, I got it. Because it was horrible. <laughs> So that was lights, camera, action. So make sure again, Hmm. cameras, the lighting as well. Hmm. Make sure you have your plan together. Because if these things get out, because, you know, just like in this situation, somebody may have gotten mad and decide I'm going to put this out. I'm going to get her before she's going to get me. I'm going to get him before he's going to get me type deal. You've got to be flawless in it. Right. So make sure you're looking good. And make sure you yourself have, have decided what am I going to do here? Am I going to be performing oral sex? Am I going to ride in? Do you that. know, guys, decide if you're going to hit it from the back. If she, if you do it for the back, make sure everything look good back there. Just make sure that you do your lover. And when you be all decide. Groomed. Right. Make sure everybody is properly groomed. Mm-hmm. Make sure everybody is really well. And then, you know, once you do this, you might be able to, you know, make a little money off of it. Because, you know, you can upload your, um, I don't know, your but, videos to, like, different sites if you want to do that. Maybe I'm, am I trying to start getting people into porn? Maybe, but just let me, there's a connoisseur of amateur porn. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the, heh, heh, oh, yeah, yeah, give it to me. That shit is aggravating. Okay, if you're going to do good amateur porn, it's the good amateur porn where you know he got his cell phone out, but you watch him like, damn, he tore his ass up. Or... Make sure it's not the one where you can't really see. It doesn't feel fake. Yes, it's like really real, real. Just real. And see, that's why I keep thinking was her. That was real. Fake. No, that was real. I just just don't believe it's just that bad. Mm -mm. It's just that bad. Okay, so ladies, so we're going to go just making sure we kind of stay on the same track with Black China. Okay, so here I come in as my bedroom candy um, consultant consultant, um, expertise. Make sure that. Um, this is what men like, I guess, when getting sloppy head. And these is based on, you know, different things that men have said and things I've read, Mm -hmm. Um, my research. Always. So (laughs) the thing that the men enjoy, and I have been told they like a lot of spit. They like to know that you are enjoying it. And that's a whole nother conversation mm. that I'm going to have some men on coming up on a couple of shows. Where some guys, I am starting to hear that they feel like, you know, women are just doing. Just doing it because just doing it to. Beca- not because, you're right, they have to. Like not job. because they enjoy it. Well, it is they a blow, blow job. job. But not so, a job they enjoy. <laughs> right. So, and then they're doing it because they feel like um, they're going to get something out of it later. Mm. Like, okay, if I do this job for you, I need you to pay my take now. me shopping, pay some of these bills. But, but you got to have great head for that in this day and age during this economy. Well, and see, that's the thing. Guys are like, why is it? And now I feel like I don't want to get too off topic because I do want to have that conversation and bring the guys in on that. But a lot of guys feel like when they're receiving, in other words, they are saying that coochie and head is not a gift. No, it's not, girl. So they're saying that just because you give up and put out don't mean that you're supposed to get something. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the table, you come to the bedroom, they want to make sure that just like with them, that you are enjoying it and enjoy these things. Like okay, so really I'm getting do. some I'm getting some feedback right now <laughs> at my phone. Oh, another thing, I'm getting feedback from a gentleman that's letting me know. Make sure you don't smell, ladies. So we haven't. This what smells well for blue dogs? 
I'm sure if your breath smells. Oh, girl, that's horrible head. That's halitosis head. Right, that's bad. <gasps> so make sure you don't smell. You're going to put a mint. Ooh. Because if you do smell. Well, fellas, you gotta I guess they need to. Yeah. Make sure you have mints on deck. Because you do know, what is that dentine black ice? Let me give y'all, let me hook y'all to the okay, game, well, okay? Bring, Se- bring secure the two carrots. <laughs> um, Make sure you chew that dentine black ice. Not the mm-hmm. blue, but the black. Um, it will keep your breath fresh, but it also gives a little tingle for is him Is it like there. that menthol scent? It is. Okay, so they will enjoy that. So it's a cool okay. breeze of pain. Okay. And uh, another update I'm getting from um, a, gentleman. a gentleman. He has said, make sure that you do not neglect the balls. Well. Make sure you don't re- neglect those. So you want to make sure you. that you are all in with everything when you decide to perform oral sex make sure you do not um neglect anything make sure that you don't smell Mm -hmm. and this all goes back into the sex tape no no one else will be able to smell the sex tape or smell you or anything like that but But the guy will know so you want to make sure that when you're Getting these sessions on and you're doing all of these recordings, make sure that whatever you do, you are prepared t- just in case it gets out. At least you can say, yes. well, I did an excellent job. No, you because I'm going to tell you something. It. If the if job, did a hell of a job giving he would have never showed it. He probably would have showed that shit. But even if he would have showed it. You think so? Yeah, he would have showed well, it. Well, I, I would think that the well, guy. No, she probably had plenty here by now. Put a little bit out. Right. I feel Touché. like if it was hmm. good, because... I mean, if it's would good, why would you want to show? Right? Why would you want to show it off to anybody else if it was good? No one want to share the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, the stuff you really don't want, you will pass it along. But the mm-hmm. stuff you don't like, you you're well, gonna make it look. Well, that bad. that'll speak volumes about my amateur porn collection. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> That's horrible. There you go. So keep in mind some of the things that you can use which can make your videos a little bit more fun, more exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, You can use, as uh, Cece has stated, dentine. You can use something. But make sure that if you're using any – this goes back into communicating with your partner. When you decide to use these products, you Mm want to make sure that neither one of you are allergic to it. Please. Now, I'm saying that to say this right here. If you use fruits, if you use honey, if you use syrup, if you you use... wash it off, Everything has to be washed up really good. So, after you have performed oral sex on him, you want to make sure that you get him cleaned up really good. Because if you don't, that's going to be a problem for you and yeast infections, ladies. So, you don't want to do that. Um, I'm looking at watermelon right now. Watermelon is a wonderful aphrodisiac. We have watermelon candles, our massage candle, and it's edible massage oil. Let me be free with, uh, clear with that. Mm. Um, watermelons are great. That's why uh, Beyonce kind of mentioned it a little bit in uh, one of her in her songs, right? So they're great aphrodisiacs. Uh, fresh fruit. If you use it, any type of fruit, you eat, using any of those things. Before you move on and decide, okay, now we're going to have sex, make sure that you clean him up really well, ladies, because you don't need him to. Because um, men get yeast infections as well. They That's just another pass thing. It along. Right. Um, keep in mind, any man, if you decide that you're about to perform oral on him, and if he doesn't, if you know he just got mm. the shower and he still has a, a, a slight scent, scent, and you know, keep in mind, our, you know, the, our vaginal areas, our groin areas, those will have a slight scent, but if it just doesn't smell like, oh, I know that you've taken a shower, then you want to check on that as well because it can be a little bit more that's going on there. And don't put your mouth on right. if it smells. Right. So Please. and make sure everything is cleaned up. Um, same thing, guys. You know, it's easier for women uh, to for you guys to smell as women than um, vice versa. So that's just me, you know, giving you all a tad bit, a little education. It's deep, though. Make, smelly peen. Yeah, never seen some, it. they will smell. If they have, like, yeast infections, they will have smells. Or if they have some other type of health issue that's going on you that they're not aware of. 
Have I what? Ever encountered a smelly thing? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> we need to ask a percentage of that. I will. I will look that up. But sometimes men have different yeast and in- will have yeast infections or have different uh, health issues going in, and they don't know. They don't know. They can like bathe all day, and they won't know. So, I'm just letting you know. So, that is a health tip for you guys. I appreciate you. I love you all. So, you know, I always have to make sure I give you all that she information. I'm educating girl. you on that. So, again, <laughs> lights, camera, action. You want to make sure that the lights are well. Make sure that you all have decided on your plan using your camera before mm-hmm. you go into action. What mm-hmm. are you going to do? Because, and then afterwards, after you do this recording, Y'all have to decide what we do with this. Who's going to keep it? Are yes. we going to delete it? Are we going to watch it and delete it right afterwards? Am go I going to keep it? Does, Does it, it go, go in storage? Cloud? Right. So after you all, like, what are you doing it for? Are you doing it out of fun to go back later to watch it to maybe critique yourself? I probably wouldn't want to do that. You wouldn't want to go back and critique no, yourself? That was oh, my moment. goodness. Um, if you go back and critique yourself afterwards, you'll be thinking, damn, why did I do that? Like, what happened? Well, because, right, so you want to, you want to, you know, if you're doing this out of excitement or, hey, maybe you want to record it, keep it for yourself. Hey, I'm going to keep the video. And every now and then send it to your man when he at work. I mean, just a little something when you get off. Right, but that's just a little excitement to add to make things. Or you can wait after y'all break up, hold on it to it, hold on, hold on, hold on, and then just just one day out of the blue send it to to it. How you and doing? that's Why vice versa. Black Panther with your new boo. <laughs> <laughs> Not Black Panther. And that Black Panther with his new boo. Oh my goodness! Let me get he that old video. Be like, Damn. <laughs> I remember that answer. Right. So again, what are you recording these things for? If you don't want them to get out, I understand. I'm all about having fun, but you have to have had a decision of what. After this is recorded, what are we who's gonna, do? gonna hold on to it, and what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna watch it immediately after and then delete it? Because mm, if you don't, she well, she didn't do that. We don't know how long they had been holding on to it. That's what the thing is. She had that shit. So you think she uploaded? She knew. It. Yes. So would you sympathy sympathy video? Right. So would you? Um, would you? I probably would record. Would you it. record and then delete right afterwards? Um, in the third person. Um, <clears throat> if I had to experience this, gotcha. I would definitely record it. Okay. Um, I would view it, um, and then I would delete it. Okay. I would send a copy to thine self only first, and then I would delete it from said device because. But see, that won't be fair. For who? For both of you. That's not my problem. Y'all... That's life. <laughs> We're going to move forward. I mean, it's just called this. Some things are not just. Would you make like a collection? Because, you know, some guys have like collections Baby, of girls. don't I know it. Some, I have a brother. Right. They have yeah. collections. And, well, we're not going to tell on brother. Oh, that but, was before he got married. Okay. Uh, new wife. Okay. So, who cool. <laughs> He deleted those. They no longer exist if she ever happens to listen to this. Never, ever. Right. She so, find the those was way before you. He she is happily in love now. Okay. So, going on past that, (laughs) so So make sure that when you are, when you are recording these videos, make sure that you all have a great game plan. Make sure you have a great relationship. Make sure that you're, right. Because, see, that puts you in another situation. If that relationship isn't good and you guys can't trust each other and and you know, you you don't respect each other, then yes, it's going to get out. And I'm going to be the first person to watch it on amateur videos. And, girl, I might even find you on Facebook. And I might even say to you, hey, just in case I know that you weren't friends with such and such, (laughs) is this your ass that is on this man's Samsung Galaxy Well, you know, they use that, uh, what is it, the T. Oh, really? What, the Facebook, what's the... the, Birmingham thing? Yeah, that Facebook thing. thing. Well, you know, I've seen a couple of like home movies on that before. Shut up, you know. And it was like guys and girls and guys on guys. So it was one I deleted that. I removed myself from being a member because one time they were like going crazy. And y'all, it was it it was uh, you know, here in Birmingham, Alabama, you know, we have different groups and at one time this group, like maybe a couple of years ago, Mm. it was popping. Like they would be fighting in there, you knew what everybody in the neighborhood was fighting. 
you know everybody in the neighborhood who got shot and who shot them. Who you knew had, everything. Who was a duffel bag man? Right. How many baby you, mothers he had. Right. Who was sleeping with him? She'll put a video it of him was laying in her serious. bed. It's like, oh, it was nah. they were showing videos of guys sleeping with each other. But see, ooh. it was everything to get everyone out. So keep in mind, this is right. That's a whole nother issue. Mm, So keep it. I got that. So Mm. keep in mind when you are making these videos, there's a good chance that someone is going to see them. So make sure that you are ready at all times to perform yourself. It is a time of Mardi Gras. (laughs) That's true. Wear a mask. So what about if you're not wearing a mask? Well, see, that goes into role play. No, that goes into black play. And we play. do have masks Put on for that you mask, all girl. To, you know you we got do a have masks at bedroom, bedroom candy. candy by um, you um, can find that, and again, I'm gonna let you all know. Find that on my Facebook candy and on my Insta, <laughs> my Instagram page as well. So keep in mind that with this. That um, if you go to the website, you can buy masks. We do yes. have those that are available along for you. Along with those candles. And they, right, along with the candles. Girl, and we also shit. have different um, creams and mm, um, arousal so gels that you can use as well when performing. So there's different things that you can do. It's a lot of things that you can use when performing oral. Wear the mask, girl. If you got to go to a 9 to 5, put that damn well, mask on. Well, what about on. just not do put it? Put that damn mask on, record your ass in the air, and it? call it a day and send that shit just to you and delete his shit. Okay. It's just, that's it. Just well, make sure you. That was. Because Torn will fuck you up, girl. Once it's done, it's done. He going to put your ass all over Gay City and everybody going to see you. Wear that mask. Change your weave, buy one of them wigs from down there on third, put it on, put on that mask, girl. Do what you got to do, but do when you going to hold, hold well. And I'm talking about knock it out. I'm the out box. here. I'm so dead right now. <laughs> knock that shit out the box, man, for them 30 seconds. I'm talking about them 30 I seconds. They're going to be like, damn, who was that? They're going to be like, they'll never know it was you, but you can walk around with your head up high, clock in at your 9 to 5, get I your agree coin, with you. but, and go home. Right. And I now, I do agree with you. If you put, mm. if whatever reason it gets out, then, hey, you got to move on with that. If it gets out, you got to move on with it. You just have to say, hey, look, I did what I needed to do. This is my it. man at the time. And you keep it on moving. And that goes for both the guys as well. Don't feel bad. Because I'm sure, like, a lot of guys have been putting their in, their two cent in. But I'm sure y'all head game ain't on point Girl. Either. And that's Sorry. with or without a camera. I mean, so we gonna be real can about we that. please do that, ladies? There's a movement for the women's movement tomorrow. What? Put out the sloppy and nasty. Wait, sorry, not the not the good ones. You want the, the bad, bad head? Yeah. So then they can be critiqued. Yes, <laughs> critique his ass. Each one, teach one. It is Black History Month. How many more days we got? Four. Yeah. Yeah. So each one, teach love. one. I and say upload them. If it's horrible, be like, girl, look, we can help you help him. That well, helps you. I think a lot of times. Um, both women and men do that anyway, and we just share them amongst ourselves. Mm-hmm. Too sure. Right. You got a couple. <laughs> but anyway, you I think it look shared. real cute, girl. And you're like, damn, you fine as hell. You're like, his head is horrible. Right. Sorry. And you get that. You see that every now and then. So you want to be cautious. Yeah. So, ladies and best. gents, this is a great, great chance to talk about and say, hey, look. When you are filming these videos with your boo, your bae, your whoever, mm. make sure that you are on point at mm-hmm. all times. Because if you do a good job, yes, girl, they're not going to show it. But if it's bad, know. this You're is right. what happens. They're not going to show it because they feel like if it's a good job, if I you do a good job, they're not going to show it because that means that they know that you can... It won't be an embarrassment. It's like other people be like, It won't, right. But, you know, some dudes kind of proud of, like, just their participation in it, not necessarily hers. I mean, but why? I mean, oral sex, that's that's the norm. It's not taboo like it, you know, taboo like it was with in 96, 97. You never know. In some circles, it's like, oh, my gosh, she gave head. I don't know. For who? who? I don't know. Not in our age group. But I'm just saying. Right. Like, possible. No. Oral it's sex possible. is not taboo anymore. Everyone does, like, I'm sure everyone that's listening here, 100 out of 100%, people are going to say that it is a must that to perform hit. To perform well, sex. I will, okay, this is an opportunity for you all to get in touch with mm-hmm. Kia. And you can leave let's, this let's on it. the comments here. 
um, as we're... Um, Just take a poll. We can take a poll. If you feel that your man or woman does not have to perform oral sex on you, I want everybody to write no head. We're going to start Please. a movement. Let's, let's start Hashtag a movement. Hashtag no, no head. head. Let's see so, how important it is for you see, I'm already getting an update person. from a gentleman that's saying that that ain't, I just that ain't need to working. Know. I need to know. Seriously, let's take a poll. So, so is it really important for, is head a necessity? Is it foreplay? Or is, is it, it just requirement? For me, as a grown woman, it is a requirement. It is a requirement. Age, right. I would feel like it's a requirement. It. I'm getting another update from a gentleman that's saying that it is definitely a requirement. It's so a requirement. for those that feel that it's not a requirement, hashtag. our movement hashtag is no head. No head. If you feel that it is a requirement... requirement. If it's ne- hmm. a ne- necessity, like you it can't get- go down without it. You better make sure you put head, 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 and head, mo head. head, and mo head. head, head, head. <laughs> Uncle Luke, head. where you at? Hey. <laughs> no, we so need to know. These are going to be our hashtags. Head, head, head and mo head. head. And, and head, no head. head. No head. Right. So we need to know how much of a requirement this is. Like, really is it necessity? Do. And remember that when you are, and ladies, another good thing you want to do, if you're not sure, you can always use different popsicles Girl. Um, to get your practice on. Oh, uh, watch practice. some porn. And that's the same thing with guys. Watch you some porn. Get no, you a little bit of practice. Watch, let, let's, let's stop there. Let's but put don't a watch, in. Don't, mean, watch, don't, don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch the Caucasian porn for head with African American. Don't do that. That is an insult to us in our culture. If you're going to do that, just don't. Okay? Take some tips. If you eat fruit, you eat peaches, you eat apples. You eat anything? I mean, take care. Don't watch white porn and do with okay. a black one. Don't do so it. So I will say this. Um, I will say another thing that guys have told me since being in the business as a consultant. They have said that a lot of times for them to kind of perfect their set, to perfect performing head on their woman, uh, performing oral sex on their woman, hmm. that they watch lesbian Girl. Lesbian porn. Now, that is good research. Right. So, that's yeah. what they have. Because, you know, they was like, well, how as a, you know, they'll how watch the that's woman deep. to learn. Because, you know, women, we do know our own bodies. Mm-hmm. And so, they would say it's able to be able to uh, perform great for their woman. They have watched lesbian porn. Now, that's deep. Right. That's good research. So that's just a a tip for you guys to definitely do that. Like, I've had several guys to tell me that, that they do watch a lot of lesbian porn. So they'll know what, have a better idea of what the woman would like. Or, and also, ladies, they, and just like the same thing with men, Hmm. in order to know what you like or what feels good, you have to be able to talk to them. You have to let them know. And if not even in the moment, just say, hey, I like when you do this or when you're when they're actually performing. So that that cuts out the, the fakeness. Head, girl. Got the head. Right. And that cuts out the fakeness of the immediate the oohs and the offs. So when they do get to a good point, I think it's good to start letting them know now, okay, this is what feels good or this is what they like. So you want to be vocal. You don't have to put this is on not the, the 50s, porn. Honey. Right. You want to be vocal. Mm, you don't have to put on the you, you know, you don't have to act. But you want to be, hey, I like this. This is you what know. I like. You want to let I them don't know. Like, this is this doesn't work for me. That goes for dudes as well. Because I mean, majority of my friends, without with the exception of about five females, which is one is sitting here now, the majority of my friends are guys. I always hung out with dudes. Yes. So, um, it's an embarrassment to me as a woman to hear some of you all not understand the necessity of. Pleasing a man orally, you know what I mean. It's, right. it's some of them feel really torn about it. And it's nothing wrong, ladies, with pleasing your man. Girl, it's, it's not. Nothing, and guys, it's nothing wrong with pleasing your woman. It's yes. nothing wrong with that. No. So it's, I mean, but that's what sex is about. When you're having sex with each other, you want to make sure that you are pleasing each other, that you are enjoying each other. Because if you're not enjoying each other and the sex is bad, that's going to be a whole nother issue. Unless a it's whole your job. Bad thing. And your job is just to, you know. Well, even with them, they make it. No, they don't. Like they <laughs> 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 but see, the, but the guys enjoy it, though. 
they enjoy it because I, I mean, that's do a they part really of it. enjoy it? They just get the rocks off. I think it's a little bit of both because they be so. most time in most porn. If you look at it, the women Damn, really be very you know submissive what? in okay. those videos. You need to get a sex worker on. I am a therapist. I am going to get someone on eventually. Not a therapist. No, no. Not just a, a sex. No, no. The person who Oh, you want to see a porn money. star. No, no, no. Just the hoe. But it's like <laughs> okay. the person, the person who get paid Get Candy with Kia has gotten candy conversation. <laughs> that way we'll know, like, okay, is this just your job? Like, I go clock in every day. Or is this just, or you, like, do you really seriously enjoy pleasing multiple people during an eight-hour shift, or is it just your job? Like, <laughs> well, we can't hundred. get the sex work because we Why? can't. They them. can put on a mask. Are we talking about mask on? No, what I'm saying, like the like you're talking about, like the <laughs> those are those are like prostitutes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can try to work that. I'm it's, gonna try to do it's that. sex. That's their job. We need to find out, like, ma'am. How do I they have enjoy? Real, I have real questions. Do you really enjoy doing this, or I think they do. You think so? If they don't, it's because they may have some type of addiction, and that's another topic. You but think I think be sex addiction. No, addiction. I'm not saying sex no. addiction. No, I'm saying they will feel like uh, when they are having sex, if they're like um, some of them sometimes are on drugs and stuff. No, like girl, that. we need to get a clean hoe. Okay, I'm talking about somebody not on drugs. Like she just like hoeing is my job. And that's just what I do. I love my job. It's I'm quite well, sure. Well, we're going to find that. Okay, can I'm y'all, trying to make sure listen, we can differentiate I need y'all to come between. Because, see, I'm trying to make sure. Are we talking about, like, real-life sex workers? Or, or not on camera. This is some lady. I don't know where her room is, her house is. She's just a hoe. Like, like a brothel. Like she, someone that she works just in a brothel. She's an individual hoe. Like, she doesn't have a brothel or a pimp or a madam. She's okay. just her own hoe. She just do her own thing. Yeah, she her own oh, hoe. Well, she I make don't... her own money. And so that's what she do all day. She just sleep with she different just guys. Hoe. Well, what about one that, well, what about the ones that's like the girlfriends? Mm. Meaning, I'm saying like girlfriends, meaning that they're, that, you know, like, I guess, what are we called? Ladies of the night. They're prostitutes, but they're. Hoes. Right. Uh-huh. But We're, you keep saying hoes, but I'm like, when I think okay, hoes, so I'm you want to like do trashy. it like professional. I mean, basically, their twat is trash. <laughs> <laughs> So if we're gonna get technical, Save so we're me. gonna do it professional, like she does. She's all feminine okay. and shit. Okay, so we're gonna get a ladies of the night. Are you some saying like what are we talking about? The ladies of the night, your professional, <laughs> okay, but the professional kind. Yes, gotcha. the ones that gets paid. All right, okay. all right, we got that. I know I can probably find. Like out. we don't have to. I mean, just don't don't let her sit in my seat because hey, you know when you're lady. sitting, don't nobody else supposed to sit in it. I'm just saying. Okay, but, so hmm. for anyone that's out there that's listening, that knows someone that's a lady of the night. And we Willing to or come on the show. right, that hmm. has we don't want to say anyone that has multiple sex partners. We want to say that this is what they do for a living. This is your job. This is their job. So it's not a their sex career. therapist. This is their career. This is what they do. This is how they get paid. And so if you know someone therapist. like that, so well, no, can't say that. Maybe they do. It's like I'm healing people through the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I healed through my talk. Okay. Well, we're gonna move <laughs> on. I'm getting healed. Right. A lot of healing. A lot of energy is being weeks. exchanged. 250. Right. <laughs> so, okay, peeps. <laughs> I think we kind of got it down. Sorry. So, we, I think we got it down a Do little bit. Do you know bit. a lady of the night if who would be willing right. to come on this show and discuss with us her ins and outs of her daily job, job, J-O-B, not blow job, like real job, like job. Like, like this, this is what is she do job. for a this living. Is this is how she makes living. her money. This is the career she's Like a call girl. She's a call girl with many with many clients. No. Well, that's me being professional. It again, is. Huh? Look at your I ass rose prof- colored ass glasses. <laughs> Do y'all know anyone who's a hoe? A hoe that would be willing to come on here and tell us that yes, and I'm we a would hoe, keep there. And I'm I'm employed gainfully. <laughs> On a daily basis, I'm never short of funds. Okay, well, see, that can be anybody. There's no, like, yes, no, that it not can. not the side chick or not the chick you know who used to mess around my brother before he got married. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm talking about the <laughs> the other people. Like, Please, Don't not me. those. I'm talking about not the ones who be like my pal be on the table. Not her. 
I'm talking about the people who <laughs> like seriously say, the table <laughs> in the water too. okay, and I need a third on that rent. But no, not her. I'm talking about the lady who actually wakes up every day and says, "Today, I'm gonna see John, Peter, and Paul." Wait, I'm that's sorry. Like, that's a call, girl. Let's stop because I just named people from the Bible, and I'm gonna change right. it. Okay, I'm wake up every day, and they say, "Call rewind. John." No, no, no. We're not doing people from the Bible. Got call convicted. Leonard. We're gonna call Leonard. We're going to call Jay, and, and we're going to call Mike. And these are the people that are going to come That's by today. Dad. Your daddy? My hey, dad's name is Mike, so let's start <laughs> over. <laughs> we're going to call Jay. We're going to call Pete One. And we're going to call Marcus. And they're going to come over. And this is what it is for the day. Monday, these are the three people I have. On Tuesday, I have Tyrone. I have Billy. So when we call yes. them up, are we... What you doing with the phone? Right, so you want to buy a new one? I guess so. Okay. So when we call them up, what do, when they come in, I guess we would like to be able to talk to these ladies to find out what are their daily duties? What yeah. does this job consist of? How do they please their multiple partners? How oh. do they protect themselves? Yeah. This is National Condom Month as well, it everyone. Sure so make sure that even when performing oral sex for those that are not in relationships, even if you are in a relationship, in a relationship. make Wear sure that you money. are wearing your condoms because the and this is a, a fact, a fun fact, the mouth has over 500 bacterial in their mouth, in your mouth every day anyway. So you want to be mindful of that. So if you're doing extra things, right. So be careful when you are uh, performing oral and things like that and make sure that any any energy that you are, uh, and I want to get too deep on this, any energy that you are passing along from partner to partner, make it's sure in your that mouth. You, right, it's in your mouth that's or in it. your body all together. Nice. So she's real nice. Okay, the hood that's version. That's one of those things. Because she's Encyclopedia Brown. <laughs> Check it. Make sure that you brush your teeth. You use Listerine, the gold one, with alcohol in it. But you don't want to do that thoroughly. before. Not before. Before oral. Because that'll tear somebody. Well, you don't. This is the thing. Before you Ooh. perform oral sex, you don't want to use, like, mouthwashes and things mm. like that because it's going to sterilize your mouth. Mm. So you don't want to do that because if they have any, uh, you have to have any. Well, no, there. if you have any cuts or anything in your mouth, and that's not good for you if you're putting a person's genitals on it. So that's just giving you a, a little heads up. She's so um, nice. Did y'all hear her say genitals? Right. I love so it. I try to make sure that Girl, I'm... Girl, you just better educate the people. <laughs> educate the people. That's what I'm here for. Eh, so eh, make eh, sure eh. that, as I stated, you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself. But I wanted to make sure we had this, com- this conversation because I think right now Black China is having a hard time with this sex tape. But Shh. as we have said, you know, everybody's saying like, look, she should have been doing better Hard but i guess i with, with it being open to everyone that she gives bad head bad isn't bad not bad isn't good okay so yeah. we got it so make sure the tips that i have given you all Number we're just going to run that back lights camera action make sure you check the lights mm-hmm. make sure you check your makeup mm-hmm. your hair so make sure the lights are good make sure that you have established where that camera is going to be before you all get started mm-hmm. make sure you're going to have that conversation of who's going to hold on to it what we're going to do after um we record we this. record this after reviewing it will we be disposing of this or will we keep it for later to watch it together so make sure that you know that and protect yourself and, and know at all times when you pull your camera out even with just here at recording this podcast once it's out there nothing can be pulled back so you want to right so you want to make sure that you are very conscious and aware of that um and also um just have fun I thought it's supposed to be fun. Well, some people make it not so fun when it comes to sex. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Who the hell want to sleep with somebody grumpy? Well, some people do that out of convenience, but that's a whole nother topic. Insert the whole. <laughs> right. I'm, that's you, a whole I'm telling nother you, topic. I don't think that they do their jo- What's in that bag? Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we are now at our quick segment that we're going to go into before we move on to the uh, put the tip in. We're going to talk about what's in the bag tonight. Okay, so we all I hope everyone has a clear understanding about the sex tape. If you can leave your comments, tell us what you think would make a great sex tip, sex, sex 
tape and what you have done. Feel free to share with us or any updates that you know that you can share with us from your friends. Let yes. us know how you feel. You can just drop and those here in the gentlemen, comments. especially gentlemen, men, mm-hmm. right. do you share your storage? Do you? Do you share with other Guys, with your friends? Yes, they do. I can answer that question. I mean, I know, but I'm just saying. There's the percentage of you sharing the good ones and the bad, bad ones. ones. And also, mm-hmm. I think the good ones are shared for the ones they don't really like. But then we gotta, we're gonna get, we're gonna, that's, we're gonna have to get the guys in on that. So yeah. I'm gonna give you guys to come in eventually and talk to me about that as well. Do I want y'all to come in and have it. these candy conversations here at the get candy, candy with Kia. <laughs> Stop, <Thank> girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to go on with this really quick. I have something in my bag tonight, What's and I'm going to let Cece take a peek. So, I'm going to let you stick your hand in there. It might bite you. Hold up. <laughs> I don't do bite peek. Look, come on. Girl, this feels like... Okay. Hey. All right. So, now, I want you to just take a look at it. Like always, if you all listened last week, you have an idea of how this part works. The um, Get Candid by Kia, we look in here and I pull this out. And I want you to tell me, what do you think? Just looking at that, CC, tell me what you think about it. What would you do with that? Where would it go? Where would it go? What would you do with it? Just I, looking at it, your first glance. The first glance <clears throat> would be a hook. Okay. But... Where would you put a hook besides your vagina? Is this for anal? Because I seen you had some little tips and shit this week. What's, what's this no. Word? Okay. So I am hooked. That's the name of this oh, piece. Oh, look at the hook. So I'm gonna start it up. Let's see if it's gonna come on. Okay. This is I am hooked. So this here is one of our massagers. It is a great massager. You want to make sure that you can use this for couples play. You can press it again. Press the button again. For couples play or for individual play, I Am Hook is the perfect G-spot stimulator. You think it has, you think everyone has a so, G-spot? So, everyone has a G-spot, even men. It's, that's the different. I think you're in the wrong field for right. your profession <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> so, this is I Am Hook. So, this is the handle here. Hmm. It has the power button. And I'm going to have a video of this, y'all, on my on my uh, Facebook, and I'll make sure that I drop the links in here so you guys can go in and check it out. So as you see, it has several different preset vibrations. You hear the different patterns? Girl. Okay. So it is always, as Candy does with all her products, they're made out of body-safe silicone. You all hear it? Is that crazy? It sounds like it's getting a motor story. Right. Now this one here is waterproof. So you can actually dip this in the tub with you or if you guys are in the pool so. or the tub. So this here spot is made for the woman. This is the handle. It does bend, as you see. Shut it up. But once you insert this and once it's in, it's going to hook in. And this here is designed to stimulate the G-spot, the I am hooks. It's one of our best-seller tools. Really? Our massages. People love it. it You're just going to slide it in. It's going to easily hook in. You want to make sure you lube this part up, wet it up real good. Always remember, use plenty of lube. It makes it more enjoyable. It gives you a whole different feel. And ladies, I get it. Everybody miss wet wet. I I get it. But you want to make sure that at all times you're using lube because it is safer for your body. It makes your experience so much better because at a certain point in time, your body is going to get tired and give out. So if you're using lube, even when you're masturbating, if you're using lube, it's going to be great because it's going to be a very good glide. Cece having so much fun. I wish I could just go ahead and just record, but she having so much fun with this. I'm talking so, the beat of this is off the chain. So it is powerful, but it is silent. It does have a, we, we I kind of have it close to the mic right now. So if you're in the bed, like it's still going now, we kind of got it pulled back from the mic. So it is a good toy. I think you guys will enjoy it. Take a look. For those that was watching last week that bunny was interested in the bunny, you love it. It's Baby, sold out. Let me just say for the record, you will love it. 
I think Bunny we have. Bunny <laughs> is a bad bitch. Okay. I'm just we have saying. a review right here on this hand for the Bunny You Love It. five star, real life. <laughs> Let's just let the world know. Okay, so Candy. buddy, right? The buddy you love it is now sold out. We have of a course. great. We just got a great review for the buddy you love it. So you guys is interested for the I am hooked. The mm-hmm. I am hooked is great. It's waterproof. It is battery operated. It's made out of body safe silicone. It is a great G spot simulator, and it's only forty nine bucks, y'all. So just That's keep it. that in mind. And I will make sure that it's posted. Um, and I'm gonna post the link out so you guys have it, and you can go and check it out. Out. Just for those that may be interested in taking a look, um, it will be on my Facebook page, which is Bedroom Candy by Kia. And I also Bedroom dropped the Candy link here in the Kia. comments. So um, before we leave you tonight, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? I think it's nice. You feel it? Do you it? like it? Yes. Feel it. Yeah, I feel it. So I've done it. I haven't tried that one personally. Because I have like others that I try personally. These are just the ones I have them on. How many you try personally? I got a couple. I'm all in her business. Pay right. Attention. People pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried a couple. I have my own. Look, my I'm own. Stop. We already have rules. It's friendship right. rules amongst us. We got rules. If something should go down, baby. <laughs> We know what to do. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have enjoyed tonight. So, before we leave, Cicely, put your tip in. Tip one. Okay. If you're going to make a video, be the best hoe you can be in 30 seconds. I mean, make it HD live and in color. When I say that you're the best hoe, they're going to be like, damn, whoever that hoe was, that is the best hoe I have ever seen for 30 seconds. Wear a mask. If you got a nine to five, don't chance it. Don't risk your job. You got bills to pay, okay? Tip two, lighting. Make sure if you chocolate like we chocolate, that we at least know that it's a man and a woman in that damn bed. Leave the lights on. Leave the lights on. Okay. Oh, no, dim them. Because sometimes we don't want to see a lot of the shit that y'all got going on in your house. <laughs> dim them damn lights. <laughs> Make dirty. it on number two. You know, the lights, <laughs> the dimming lights, put it on two, not one. Number three. Tip of the day is, girl, take that damn video, send it to you, delete his shit. That's shady. <laughs> I don't care what you call it. It's so and put shady. your damn shades on, you put your damn boots on, you put your damn purse on, and you walk your ass up out that door. Go home. But you delete his shit, and you send that shit to you, and then on occasion, you know, you want to just be like, don't ever send that shit to him, because that motherfucker will save it. But you keep it for you. Okay, so, just for you. Okay, so don't share with him. Don't the, share let him shit know with what him. You got he seen it. that it was made. He was participating in sending that, that shit to yourself. So that's it. Okay, it happened. It was an experience. Gotcha. You all about giving experiences. Okay, okay. number four. Uh oh. If you gonna give head, be good to the dick. Okay, even if it's for five point. seconds. Don't do that damn dog pants shit for like shit zoos. They drink water out of a boat. <laughs> Don't do that. If it's only five seconds that you know you got, and if it's only, if you see a cell phone, kill that shit for five seconds. Right. And maybe you all can say no phones, no cameras, exactly. nothing loud in the bed. That was number five. If you right. have trust issues like me, don't bring that motherfucking cell phone in that room. Right. Leave, leave it that out. shit leave outside it in, leave it on the, the dining room table. Right. Everybody put their phones down. We going to here do what we going to do. And when and we out. done, we done. Right. Okay. Okay? okay. Those are the tips. Oh, and make sure that you shop who? Bedroom Candy by Kia. By Kia. And stay tuned <laughs> for the Get Candy with Kia <laughs> podcast every Thursday here on D30 Radio. I have enjoyed yeah. you guys for tonight. This has been so great. <laughs> Look, this is what happened when you bring your homies yeah. to the, to the head, spot. Head, head, and more head. And hashtag, don't forget, hey. hashtag no head or hashtag head, head, head and, and more head. head. Okay? So make sure you let us know. Let me know what what you guys like is it a necessity no if it's a requirement yes is it something that you just don't need no mm. head we want to know we don't want to know your your um your updates we and don't know forget what today's special that. um the i am hooked 
The I Am Hooked is wonderful. You guys will love it. It's a great G-Spot stimulator, body safe silicone. You guys will love it. If you have any questions about it, just let me know, and I'll be more than welcome to um, Black History Month, support your own. Correct. Shop Black Business. And Candy is a black business entrepreneur woman, so she has a great brand. So thank you guys for tuning in on this Thursday, and I will see you all next Thursday at 9 p.m. here at D30 Radio. Thank you so much. (laughs) Back here.